Does that make me official? I mean, you can barely see it and it's fake, but it's here. Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel, Cruelty Free Models, a place to discover the industry's top, cruelty-free and eco-conscious models and industry professionals. I'll also be talking about all things cruelty-free and as always, have a little fun. Okay, so a lot of you have already likely heard the news. Garnier is officially cruelty-free and certified by the Leaping Bunny program. So, okay, now, like I said, most of you have probably already heard the news, so this video is obviously for those that haven't, and also for those that just want more details on this whole breaking news situation. As always, first, let's just review what it means to be cruelty-free. So cruelty-free just basically means that a brand does not test its um, ingredients, formulations, or finished products on animals at any point during the production process. This uh, includes whether they do it in-house or they you know, have a outside third party to do it for them, or if they um, sell their products where animal testing is required by law. So I think that covers it. Um, if I missed anything, leave a comment in the uh, comment section. But I think that covers it. And yeah, let's get right into this whole Garnier thing. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, Garnier is now officially Leaping Bunny certified and cruelty free. So that is great news. And this applies to their entire line. And it also applies to not just the US, but globally. So anywhere in the world, all Garnier, Garnier products are cruelty free. Now, Garnier has been consistently making strides to be more sustainable, more greener, more compassionate. And I just wanted to point out a few of the um, steps that they've taken besides just the latest one. I think they deserve now to be really recognized and applauded for their um, efforts. So Garnier actually withdrew from the Chinese market back in 2014. And then in 2020, they launched a commitment to uh, Greener Beauty, which is like a green beauty program. So that was great. And in doing that, they kind of like revamped a lot of their products. Some of these innovations include Garnier Skin Active Reusable Eco Pads, Garnier Whole Blends Sulfate Free Remedy, which is blended with sustainably sourced ingredients and packaged in 100% PCR bottles, excluding the pump. <laughs> Garnier Fruit Teas Treats, with, which has 94% biodegradable formula packaged in 100% CR, PCR bottles, excluding the caps. And Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine, which is packaged in 100% PCR bottles, excluding caps and pumps. So they are definitely committed and they're still going to be making even more steps to be sustainable. <laughs> So um, we definitely applaud them for those moves. So obviously the most recent thing being their cruelty-free status. And you guys, this wasn't like some simple thing. Like they had to get a declaration from more than 500 suppliers who source more than 3,000 different ingredients from across the world. So this was not some small feat. So. Congratulations, Garnier, and we thank you and applaud you. So just a little bit about the brand. Garnier is one of the largest, most global brands that Cruelty Free International has ever approved, you know, under their Leaping Bunny program. So this was definitely not just big for Garnier, but also for the Leaping Bunny program. Um, this is definitely a huge leap, pun intended, for the beauty industry as a whole and it hopefully paves paves the way for other large brands to you know follow the lead and 
you know, realize that, you know, if you're serious and you're, and it's important to you, yeah, it's some work, but you know, if it's important to you, then you can make it happen. I do want to point out quickly that, you know, Garnier is owned by L'Oreal. So L'Oreal, of course, is not a cruelty-free parent company, but Garnier is definitely now. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, and here's a statement from uh, Garnier's global brand president, uh, Adrian Koskis. He said, Garnier has been committed to a world without animal testing. Today, Garnier takes another green step in its journey toward greener beauty for all of us. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to give you guys that quick uh, little update and information on this Garnier being cruelty free um, news and I hope you guys uh, got some inf valuable information from that. So thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like this video, share it, and leave me a comment in the comment section. I reply to all of them. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.